all right guys i want to do a little video right quick and some of you might not like the video some of you might love the video some of you might go back and look at the old videos so look down below there's going to be links to the old videos of me building this battery box it's a big battery box I'm going to explain to you more details about what it is and all that and right now let me explain why i'm making this video okay it's because i've got I've got some stalkers apparently and and they get real stupid and they like to insult people they even like to insult my kids so I don't approve their comments but let me explain this we'll uh, I'll put a, a row of links here in this uh, little clip look at this picture of this battery box and then we'll go from there um, this battery bank here is a year old and um i know i get a lot of smart asses that come in here and like to make goofy comments um if you don't have a big battery bank and a lot of big inverters and stuff sitting up inside yours and you got a little walmart battery and a harbor freight inverter you, you can learn from me but you don't have to be an ass if you want to know how stuff is set up feel free to ask these are very large batteries and they are made by East Penn. They're also, you'll see decals on them that say solar battery, DECA solar battery. Um, this is our one year of having these batteries. And what I'm doing with them right now is I am going through your normal test using a hydrometer for. Um, and some people will call that, you know, you're a hillbilly, hydrometer, you know, you know, fuck you, man. Look, it is a hydrometer. And what it does is it tests the gravity or actually the water acid combination and it'll give you a reading. Now, in my case, um, just checking any battery because we just opened up a few in here and I've already rinsed this out with distilled water. So here's my battery. And you can see it is quite up to par. Okay? And this is after one year. So as far as maintenancing or maintaining my batteries, I do a very good job of that. And this is distilled water down here. And I'll just pull a little up in there. And you can see with distilled water, it don't mean shit. <laughs> so, and then flush it back out. And then I have a deliberate other container. We set it in. Treat these with respect. Acid will burn the hell out of you. So, um, out here in my battery bank, um, we have 14 batteries. And it was expensive to use huge monster cables and bounce them all around. And for anybody that says it don't matter, it don't matter, you can just bounce them, bounce them, bounce them, bounce them all over each other. What happens is, and this is from experience, if you don't have experience, shut the hell up. From experience, what happens is if I took these and I jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped and jumped and come over here and tapped it on this end and tapped it on this end, what would happen is I would have one battery that would be uh really getting hot from charge and i don't care if you don't like it it's the truth and then i would have other batteries that would suffer and believe it or not when it comes to dc current unless you're a genius and can figure a better way to do it and you run a string of wires and you tap it if you've done yard lights where you've run dc wiring out in your yard in the ground have you ever noticed that the first light on the string is pretty damn bright the second light not so bright the third not so bright you know kind of like a wind turbine freak in Missouri that's been sending stalkers after my channel so less bright as you go <laughs> and the reason for that is because of the way DC behaves so this is direct current and if you're wondering why I took a whole bunch of these cables this size and tapped every individual battery and did it the way i've done it to where i have this battery and this battery connected into a 12 volt circuit and then equal length cables going up to a manifold up here equal length 
the reason that we're doing the equal length is the same reason that no matter what battery cell that I open up after one year that I will get the same readings no matter what battery I open up and that's because it is a permanently balanced draw and permanently balanced charge okay so if you can't handle that and I'm getting some real genuine morons and I hate to put it that way because most of my subscribers are just wanting to learn and they got damn good comments and but I've been getting some real morons and I'm sorry but the fact of the matter is this is a system that self balances so if you've got eight 12 volt batteries and you're going to go link 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 and then you're going to come down here and you're going to hook onto them and you're going to draw power so you're going to pull power off of the batteries so say these are 12 volt batteries and we're just going to jump just like that every one of them and then we're going to hook onto here and here and put our inverter on it that battery is going to get the hell beat out of it on this end while this battery down here will not this battery will be wore out and when it wears out and this one starts wearing out it's going to wear out your other batteries how is that possible every cable no matter how good has resistance every one of them it might be very small but over a year or two of that service cycling service cycling back and forth you're killing your batteries now I've learned this because I've done this for 11 years this is the best way now maybe not for you maybe you want to run 12 volt batteries and you want to run a bar down this side and pull from here and a bar down this side and pull from here and that actually works great self-balancing if you have 6 volt batteries and you want to do the same thing self-balancing but in that case I would have needed 4 aught wire instead of 1 aught wire instead of one gauge I would have needed four so I'm able to deliver the 240 amps from every one of these banks times seven across the board and handle the maximum peak of 360 amps for a short period with no problems everything being equal length you ever uh, look at your car speakers and they tell you to don't run one wire a foot long and one wire 10 feet long why why do they tell you that because the way that the voltage will travel through it short wire that speaker will be loud long wire that will be less volume so i'm just giving you guys an update i've gotten some real i'm <laughs> sorry real geniuses um, not you guys who just asked the questions, but the ones that go in there and just run their smart ass mouth. And this is a battery bank that is fully vented, fully vented. The whole seam up here is a full vent and the intake air for the room is down here. And then there's a pipe up back here that, because I have some other things I own with video, that goes up and out the roof. There is no... The hydrogen meter has never gone off in this room, ever. Even in windstorms with, with thousands of watts of solar coming in, and I've got thousands of watts of solar. So we're pumping in 3,900 watts of solar and the capacity of 2,000 watts of wind power. And because I run things off of DC voltage, try not to convert everything, I have the ability to run everything I need. So if you're a anti-solar and anti-wind guy the guy down the street man the next video over go talk to him stay off my ass all right guys I hate to be that way about it but i've gotten some real losers and i'm kind of getting fed up about it and this battery bank's a beautiful work of art it's been working perfect for a year my wind turbine control system with the cooling fans has been working for perfect for you can see up in there that that one wind turbine, there's no real wind out right now, is 175 kilowatt hours in a little over two months produced out of that one. This one got reset accidentally, and it would right now be about 145. And then this one down here is about accurate at 95. So you can add that up, about 145, 175, and 95 kW at 12 cents a kilowatt that I didn't buy 
from the system just on my wind turbines, which they're not my power producers. My solar is. So, all right. Now, I'll get back to finishing my batteries, but I just wanted to give you guys a rant, and I'm sorry about putting it that way. And if you wonder how we got all this hooked up down here, you see this, how this is all hooked up. Go look at my old battery video about a year ago, and you're going to get to see this battery box being built. In fact, look down at the bottom of the video, and I'm going to put a link to where that battery box was being built and why, and it's self-explanatory, and hopefully you watch the videos and you learn something, and your batteries will be like mine. My last set lasted almost eight years. This set is a year old and premium. All right, guys, thought I'd do a little walkthrough for you my, back here in my power room, and the solar is upstairs, so we're not gonna go up there right now. The solar controller's coming down.